All right, I'm sitting inside a 2017 Kia Sedona. Um, it had a new airbag module put in, and it has to be coded to the vehicle. So I'm just gonna do a pre-scan before anything. Is this the module? Yep, module assembly. So they put in a brand new one. Apparently this one wasn't communicating. It's the part number. So, let's just see what we got here. Yeah, the airbag light is flashing, but it could be because the car's not on, just the key on. USA area. I'm just going to do a full scan. I just saved that just to cover myself in case after programming they say there's new codes and this. I have everything from before and everything after. Right, so there is codes in the airbag module. All right, so it's finished scanning. I'm just gonna make a report of this. Okay, so what we have here is ACU coding error. So this thing has to be coded. All right, so the way you do that is you go to SRS, I'm not sure if it's a one or two. Special functions, ACU variant coding. Okay, so we're gonna push okay. Okay, please enter the ACU coding from vehicle manufacturer. Push okay. Oh, so maybe it will find it itself. It found it. It doesn't even, okay. I already paid, let me show you, in case it doesn't find it. Okay, so now in case, let's say your scanther doesn't pull it up. I did not dream it would pull it up. I thought that's why I already paid for this. But you buy a one day subscription, or it's actually a 72 hour subscription to Kia service information, it's $19. And then I just searched the list, but it just pulls up all these lists of different Sedona variant coding. And it has for the airbag module, all these different modules. And it will tell you the part number and the actual code. Now on the bottom of this list is airbag variant codes for 17 to 19. So we're 15 to 18 is YP01. And that's for all the modules. So it's not prevents. So really, you probably could just save this PDF and then, you know, you could just save it so you don't have to buy it. But it's pretty cool that the top down was able to actually pull that up for me and I didn't do anything. So, I mean, I didn't have to pay for that, but I already did. So, too bad. We're going to push this. This function will be done with the code below. Okay. Okay. Variant coding is complete. After the variant coding process, please make sure that the information has real car information. Okay, fine. All right, so now let's start this. Let's see if the airbag light goes off. All right, still on. Let me see why. Read full code. Okay, there's no trouble codes in, in number one. Let's go see what number two is. Oh, there's still a code in ACU number two. Okay, so let's shut this off. Special function. That's funny, I have to do it in both. Okay. Okay, okay. Now, it should pull it up by itself, but if not, we know the code already. It pulled it up. Oh, no. Wait, this is a different code. Cancel. SRS2. ACU coding error. All right, I just went back in my footage to make sure that the original one was the right code. So I'm not sure what to do now because do I put in this code it's pulling up or, you see that code, variant code is YP10. 
is for a 2019 to 21. 2015 to 18 is YP01. I don't know why on number two it's pulling up. Let me just see what part number this is. 95910. A9. You see, it's a different part number. That's over here, A9050. All right, so it's good I paid for this because I'm a little nervous about this. I'm going to try to put in my own number. So I'm going to push OK. OK. If you want to enter the codes manually, press cancel. OK, so we're going to put in this number, YP01. Zero one. This function will get done with the code below. Okay. Oh, it's already complete. It's not necessary. To... Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Okay, hold on. My bad. I went back to try to read it again, and then I realized I could just look at my footage. Um, special functions. Okay. 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 Cancel. So now we put it in. YP01. Okay. The saying is already complete. It's not necessary to code again. So maybe we just have to clear this code. Oh, the code went away. Okay. I guess you really only have to do it on one. I'm not sure what happened there. Let me do another full scan. Oh, it went out. I guess it just took time. The code's definitely out. I'm doing a scan now. There is a code in the ESC. All right, so now let's see what we have here. We have longitude G sensor not calibrated and ACU communication error. So I don't want to clear this code. Let me just see if I can calibrate this quickly. Special functions right here, calibration. Let me just make sure the wheels are straight. That's probably gonna ask me that. Yeah, they're straight. Ignition on, engine off. Okay. Completed. Well, that was fast. Okay, so this is off. Wait for 10 seconds. Then push the OK button. Okay. All right, well, that is done. Let me just clear all the read full codes. History code, perfect. So this car should be good to go. Let me just clear these DTCs. And then I'll take a post scan. All right, let's just save a post scan. All right, we're good to go. I mean, that was very cool how the top down was able to pull up the number. But I'm not sure about the other one, how it had a different number when I tried doing it. Now, I never actually coded the other one because by the time I went back and a few times and then tried doing it manually, it says very encoded already done. So I guess if you're trying it with the top down first, do the number one and it'll pull, it pull, pulled up the right code. Now, I don't know why the number two pulled up the wrong code, but but it's pretty cool that you don't need you don't need Kia's tool at all. So I thought you did. All right, but we got to clear no lights on the dash, and we should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching.